some of the fastest hits from the purveyors of some of the fastest cars in the world. Following Volkswagen's acquisition of the Bugatti brand in the late 90s, there was a compelling urge to make a bold statement. What better avenue to do so than by introducing a hypercar that would stand as the pinnacle of all hypercars? The Veyron, with its impressive 8.0-liter quad turbo W16 engine, ignited a fierce competition for unparalleled power in the automotive world. Manufactured from 1924 to 1931, the legendary Type 35 is frequently hailed as the most triumphant racing car in history. Even Red Bull's current dominant Formula One car is unlikely to surpass its illustrious reputation, as the Bugatti achieved an extraordinary record of over 1,000 victories in its various iterations. Following the achievement of reaching 304.77 miles per hour with a modified, long-tailed Chiron at in 2019, Bugatti chose to commemorate the car's success by offering 30 production versions of the Super Sport 300 Plus. These models feature exposed carbon and boast an astonishing 1,578 brake horsepower. If you thought a 300 miles per hour Chiron was extreme, the Type 41 Royale takes it to another level. Only six of these monstrous vehicles were ever produced, and each boasted a colossal 4.3 meter long wheelbase. To propel something of such magnitude, Bugatti equipped it with a mind-boggling 12.7-liter straight-eight engine, generating approximately 300 brake horsepower. Determining the best-looking car is subjective and varies based on personal preferences, but if one appreciates pre-war motoring, a compelling case can be made for the 1936 Type 57 SC Atlantic. The SC stands for lowered and supercharged in French, and the iconic teardrop shape was designed by Jean Bugatti, the son of Ettore Bugatti. In contrast to the visually appealing Atlantic, the Type 32 was not considered an attractive car, nor was it particularly successful. However, it was notably ahead of its time. Dating back to 1923, this car was among the pioneers in the consideration of aerodynamics for its bodywork. Its distinctive bluff shape led to the nickname Tank for this forward-thinking vehicle. Yet another Bugatti to be dubbed the Tank, the 57G was the result of the French carmaker's persistent experimentation with bluff aero bodywork. Ultimately, this approach found success, as the 57G secured Bugatti's first-ever victory at the Lou Mans 24-hour race in 1937. Revealed at the 1992 Geneva Motor Show, the revised EB110 showcased its ability to produce over 600 brake horsepower from its quad-turbocharged 3.5-liter V12 engine. It boasted a lighter weight compared to the standard car and incorporated additional aerodynamic enhancements to Marcello Gandini's original design. Ettore Bugatti's creativity extended beyond cars. He also designed a high-speed train and the magnificent Model 100 aircraft. Initially conceived as a racing plane for the Deutsche de la Merth Cup in 1939, the project came to a halt due to the outbreak of World War II, and unfortunately, the 100P never took flight. 